All right, guys, hello and welcome to the video. If you're here, then obviously you are seeing that Blizzard has released the announcement of the delay for Shadowlands, which I think has uh, been community-wide received as a very, very good decision. Um, I do not want to really take this time to get into the nitpicky of the meta things that they're going to have to change in terms of systems and, and stuff like that. The people who are best uh, suited for explaining that have already done so between Bellular Gaming, Preach, Rich Campbell, Asmongold, uh, Tally, all those people have sort of already kind of released their statements and their their videos of, of their thoughts and opinions on what Blizzard can do um, on a specific uh, you know track set in order to kind of improve the game with the time that they bought themselves. So I more want to address this the situations kind of surrounding this and what to expect from Blizzard kind of going forward uh, as a kind of an outsider looking in. For starters, I want to say that I believe Blizzard really did make the right decision in delaying this, and I know that most people are going to say, well, duh, that's obviously the right decision. But it's not really as easy a decision for Blizzard as people might think it is, and the reason for that is just because they have a product that they may have felt was ready to ship, and they are eager to release this expansion. However, they're also eager to release a good expansion. There's been a lot of community talk with the understanding that Blizzard really can't afford to release two bad expansions back to back. Kind of the understanding that we you know we get good expansion, bad expansion, good expansion, bad expansion, and that's kind of been how it's gone really since you know the end of Classic. And I think that this is the potential for them to kind of break the cycle by pumping the brakes, slowing down, and taking a critical look at the product that they're about to release. The reality is, is that even though they can do what they want to do, they do still have to listen to the community to some degree. And this is a great example of them taking direct feedback from their community, something that for on the large part the community wanted the on you know most everybody that was looking at this thing wanted Shadowlands to be delayed they made the decision to delay it and i think that that is not only good for them it's good for the community and it's good for the relation blizzard is showing that they are willing to work with the community and to take critical feedback on a massive issue and before anybody says oh well it's not a big deal that they delay it it is a big deal you gotta remember blizzard is working with activision on this one activision is in this business to make money as is blizzard now blizzard has an over you know an overarching idea to release great gameplay and, and to you know create meaningful content and, and you know provide a product that their players really do want to play which i think is the goal of really any game developer but for blizzard it's an important thing because this game has been around for a very long time and they know that they have a reputation to pull now the status of that reputation i'm not really going to get into that's for you and for everybody else to kind of decide on an individual individual basis i'm not really going to try and influence that but what i do want to say is that this is a good step in the right direction blizzard is showing that they can critically examine something take feedback that is in opposition to what their opinion may have be of it and then decide that maybe the community feedback is right on this one and delay it it is a huge deal that they've delayed this because they could have just let it go they could have just released it on you know whatever schedule they may have had beforehand and we may have ended up with something that may have been a good expansion a bad expansion you know a, a lot of question marks surrounding the testing of the systems and you know obviously you know the the never-ending discussion of trying to balance covenants and you know the the the, the leveling revamp and and all of the other stuff that's going to be going on especially around the mall the new zones uh all the stuff that have been covered by people far more knowledge, uh, knowledgeable than me of it. But the point I'm trying to make is that this is good. This is not just good. This is really, really good that Blizzard has decided to do this. I think that going forward, they're going to have a good experience from this decision where uh, a good experience from this one where they decided to listen to the community. They made a decision that the community wanted, and then in, instead of you know what might normally happen, which was that, oh, you made this decision. We hate you for it. Uh, you know, even though that's what we wanted, we didn't really want it. Blizzard is instead going to get, hey, thank you for listening to us. We appreciate it. Best of luck. Keep up the great work. That is the reaction that needs to be given to Blizzard right now. They need to be able to get a good experience from this one because if they have an overwhelmingly, po overwhelmingly positive experience from this, which I think they have so far, it will encourage them to continue to be this open and be this transparent and this forthcoming with fans and with with consumers of the game in the future because now you know they're going to see oh you know we kind of listened to community feedback we made a decision that may or may not be kind of controversial we decided to delay the game and we got really good feedback from it we got really good positive reinforcement people enjoyed it and were thankful and i think that once they realize that this is what they're going to get they will continue to be a little less 
stiff and strict with the way that they start addressing the community and the fans and they start to be a little more open with us and and you know more forthcoming of some of the problems they have now that doesn't mean that they're going to spill their deepest darkest secrets all the time but what it does mean is that they're going to work with us a little bit more they're going to work with the fans of the community and they're going to be a little bit more open to criticism once they realize that some of that criticism actually nets them positive gain and in this case positive press positive reinforcement which for them is big I also want to point out that this time that they're going to have, um, uh, you know, a little bit more than a week and a half or so before the pre-patch, um, the community kind of consensus with this is that it's going to be spent wisely. People are counting that Blizzard has recognized the mistake. They've recognized that they're kind of getting a second chance in order to really get this expansion right and that they're going to use it very, very constructively. And I think that that is something to watch for. And if they do, in fact, at the end of this whole thing, use that time constructively and actually make something of the expansion and this turns out to be a really good expansion that they will need to be applauded for that in the future just you know to kind of remember this you know in a week and a half from now if the, the expansion is you know fantastic and turns out this time this extra time was a difference maker then they'll need to be you know congratulated for it and you know and thanks for for listening that's really i think the end of all the thoughts that i have on this matter there's obviously going to be more to come um, as they start releasing kind of more announcements, getting closer to the, the release of the pre-patch. But I do think that uh, in kind of in consensus TLDR, that Blizzard really made the right decision in order to move forward with this expansion, knowing that they really do have to get this expansion right. I think that that extra time that they've gotten is going to make the expansion good. I think they're going to use it very, very constructively. And then I just kind of want to, you know, re-emphasize and kind of herald to people that please be supportive of Blizzard on this. They really did make the right decision. And, you know, they don't always get it right, you know, more often than not, they get it wrong. You know, we they do things we ne may not necessarily agree with, but this time they listened and we need to be respectful and super appreciative that they did that because they didn't have to. And we could have ended up with what could have, might have been a very, very bad expansion. So that's all for me. I want to thank you guys for staying around and watch the video. If you liked anything you saw here, make sure you hit that uh, like button. Uh, and if you want to see any more content from us in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell. It'll let you know whenever we release anything else that's kind of worth listening to. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.